Right, the first two parts, yes, it's our text. No, we did it with Vladimir together, the first two parts. And, but in the second part, at the end, it was a quotation of the mother at the end. And the third part is um, all the quotations of the mother on sincerity. Yes. Congratulations, congratulations, it was so wonderful. And I could feel it and you could feel it, right? The beautiful colors, children could have done it. So it means you have a very uh, good heart. Because children know nature and they know the divine. And art in Arabic means God. Because Sina and Alsan are related words. God and Allah are related words. Thank you very much. Say a few words about our studio, what it was about, and how it was born. Um, just a last, year, mm -hmm. last year, we had a conference of IPK, it, it was about integral paradigm of knowledge. And um, I, I'm, I live in Russia and I came to Oroville for the months in, in that period. And we have a lot of meetings, discussions, and a lot of ideas came to my mind there, like a rain. And I have them, I was very inspired by them and have like a basket of ideas what we can do. Um, and one day I sat in matrimony during meditation. Not meditation, it was concentration, maybe. And I was asking the mother, I have this basket of you know, different ideas, different projects that we can create, and I am so inspiring about them. But what is your will? What you want me to do? I was very sincere in that moment. With the closed eyes, I felt that my head just was turning to the right side. I don't know why to the right. And I feel with my, and I saw with my closed eyes 12 qualities. And nothing more, no explanation, no, nothing, just 12 qualities. And after this, I was wondering, okay, for, for my inner development, I need to concentrate on the 12 qualities. But I know my nature and my prakriti, you know, when we are concentrated on one thing, on one object, on one theme for some times, and then we are switched to another item, to another thing. And we cannot hold the thing for a long time. So to create their studio of 12 qualities for me was a vehicle for my inner work. How can I tie my inner being, my, my outer being, to be always in this stream, to be always to try to find these 12 qualities, always to try to reveal them from within. So I asked Vladimir, let's do it together. She, he, and he said, yes, it's a very nice idea. And so we start. Um, for us, it was easy to start with the films because we have a team in Russia that can make very nice editing. And our task was to hold, to hold the essence, to hold the knowledge, to hold the vibration, and try to organize all the process of collective creation in one team. And we had a very long way how, for sincerity. We tried several times. And we worked with a couple, Russian couple, the first film of sincerity, it was not, not, not about the sincerity, it was about vital movements. And we decided that's not, it's not, it's not that. 
And with this working, with this focusing, a lot of stuff was going on in our lives because it influenced very much. It cannot be like it's something different from me. And the lovely couple from Russia who were who made editing, they divorced. Finally, with the film of sincerity, so much pressure was in this try and this attempt to reveal this quality. And then we have a long way how we understand our first atom was without words. It was one only scenario and like a subtle vision, but we cannot hold it in images because it's not so easy to explain other people who, who have never experienced this faculty, what is what this power, what is about. And that is why we decided to make a text, because from this, to fix it in the words and to try to hold this presence. So that is how this film was born, and how, that is how the art studio was born. And the idea is that it's not only my vehicle, not, not at all. For me it's like an instrument and I would like to invite many people to join. If you really want to find this in yourself, we can do it together or you can do it for your own. We have a website of our studio and we have a gallery there. We can put your works there if you are in this, in this area. And it is not also about, we widen our approach, it's not about exactly 12 qualities, but it's all about it's the, the mother's work in this world. Um, the mother, um, when she stands behind and we are like an instrument, we can join and we can make it together. And that is why you can see on our website uh, many projects that uh, we would like to introduce because we know that there is some, some, something strong behind them. And there are people here who also are connected with us. If you want, you can say a few words. Noel, do you want? Noel Parent, I would like to introduce um, Noel Parent, he is a writer and poet. He writes a series of books for children. So. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I was uh, invited by Natalia to join the project. Um, she had um, seen uh, my children's book, which came out a couple of years ago. Uh, Yaroslav's Flowers, and it is uh, sort of a story that takes the qualities that Mother has given to flowers and tells a story, a little adventure, uh, with a little girl. Um, and so I, I created that story, and after many years it turned into a, an actual book with illustrations. And, and uh, now what uh, I've been doing is I've write many, written many other stories, um, but it's very difficult for always uh, getting illustrations, printing books. So now this next step is to, to just share the stories um, and to create basically an audio uh, of the stories. So I have volunteers who are translating the stories into different languages and we are recording them at the, the radio, the Oroville radio. And so all of these stories sort of represent, um, for me, uh, trying to evoke some inner uh, introspection, to bring children into looking more within themselves, um, and to bring some little quality or theme that has a spiritual or yogic uh, element to it, um, in a simple way. Um, and so, I just am at the place where I just want to offer that and so through the 12 qualities, the, the website, we're going to be offering these videos which are mainly audio but maybe a little slideshow also. Um, so those will be available soon. There's already one, one video is there of, of the book but I have many other stories. Um, and so it's just an opportunity for me to sort of widen the ability to share those 
those stories, um, which I'm I'm grateful for having. Um, otherwise, I think the project in general, I think it's it's open to many different, from my understanding, many different media and and ways of expressing the twelve qualities, but also the deeper qualities that that we all want to grow into. And so, if there's artists, whether it's uh, painting or drawing or poetry or stories or whatever it may be, it's it's good to have a place where we can uh, really all share it together and have it offered to everyone uh, outside. Whether we know there's this this place that we can go for these kinds of resources, because very often it's very difficult to find. You have to go and search and. Uh, look through everything and see where is are where are these resources that are going to really help me with my children or with uh, with some uh, quality in my own life and so I think it's a, a good opportunity for people to to get involved and participate uh, on whatever level that uh, you have the capacity to um, so after saying that I'm I'm also always looking for people who want to translate these stories, my stories, the children's book, into other languages. So any volunteers are more than welcome, and also illustrators, all of these kind of things for, for telling the stories with more of a visual element, uh, because it becomes, for children, it's more living with these uh, images, and I try to tell the story with the images as well when they're illustrated. Um, so I invite any of you to talk to me, uh, and uh, and to please get involved and talk to Natalia and see how it is that you can participate as well. So thank you. It's not really a question, it's a comment. Thank you so much for this beautiful film. My heart was touched. I, I think you, you have been really illustrating what is sincerity through this film and telling your experience with mother it was it was amazing it was a very 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 touching yeah it's just a really a comment um, of the experience of working with the natalia and vladimir um, and how much has touched me and, and to hear the, it was for me very difficult for the fact that I was giving the voice but not being in the studio or not seeing the images. I just got the text and how many times I repeated it and uh, I wanted to really get the essence of it. So it was for me a very fascinating um, process. To when you repeat uh, mother's words, and um, so it was very, uh, very, sp very uh, special. And I'm very grateful uh, for the opportunity to to give uh, my voice. I very much appreciate it. So thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe what I can say, if Chera is the mask and it's a decay, I think it is the mask of our body that decays and dies. While uh, and some of the stays there, so there might be a connection with the mask. So, thank you. Thank you. Perspective. When I write letters, and in the end, often, you know, you say something, so regards, or love and light, and be with you. But I always felt, when I had to, when I wanted to use the word sincerity, or sincerely, there was a bit of a stumbling block in me. Uh, in me, am I really sure to use this word? And quite often, I I did use an easier one. Let's say. Thank you. I just wanted to sort of, I guess, from my own perspective in terms of stories, there's this element of story that I kind of feel is, is uh, what this whole uh, project is about. Because when we talk about art, we're, we're telling a story, 
or we're capturing a moment of a story in whatever form it comes, in writing or in uh, imagery. And for me, when I'm writing uh, stories, I'm in a way seeing that the, the world that we live in right now is trapped in an old story. It's living out a particular story and it's trapped in it. And so a project like this it's sort of a way to, uh, with these 12 qualities, uh, start telling a new story to ourselves and to bring out something new through our stories. And that comes again in all of these uh, different ways that we create art. Um, and so I think for each person who would participate in this project, if you even, in some ways, it doesn't have to be like uh, something very high all the time. You know, we, we're reaching for the highest, we always want to be the highest. But maybe it's just offering something from your story that can also connect with other people in relation to uh, the Twelve Qualities or in relation to qualities that we know in ourselves are, are higher. You know, I, I give one example just because the twelve qualities we, you know, I won't, I won't say all of them, but one of them that you don't find is, is love. But we know that love is this high quality, this high power. And so I think that there's this flexibility to see that the qualities are also connected to all kinds of different aspects of life and that we can offer some of that also into the, to the project um, in a different way. And to see that all the twelve qualities also, even the mother spoke about how they're all connected. There, there's a story behind the twelve qualities. They flow from one to the other. It starts actually in, in the Matra Mandir with sincerity, that's number one. You start with sincerity and it flows and in the end you find peace. So all these qualities grow and continue, and in the end there's peace. But we always speak about how we want peace now. But we don't really look at how all of these other things might be necessary to get to peace. And Mother actually says, one of the things that, uh, peace will not exist until truth exists. You can't have peace without truth. So, and all of these other qualities are part of that truth. So, I just say that because I think we're, we're looking at a story that's much, it, it's our collective story and we have to find new ways to tell a story, to change the story, and to connect with each other in that story. Um, so, thank you. I have one question. Uh, how do you define uh, the difference between sincerity and equanimity. As I just mentioned uh, just a few seconds before, that you can enter, the sincerity is the key to the inner door. And we can travel in the inner reality and find all these qualities. And one quality, sincerity, will help to find community. It's, 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 it's a fantastic way we um, one day, it was two years ago, I tried to write a book for children about the in, traveling in the inner reality and finding all these qualities. So somehow, somehow, I have these glimpses how we can enter from one quality to another. And how, for example, sincerity and humility will help to find um, gratitude. gratitude. Yeah. And then, once one by one, we help each other to establish in ourselves. And to have this equanimity, we need to help, we need to review nine qualities before. And equanimity will, will include all of them. Maybe I can help a little with this. Uh, we were thinking about this for so many years. We met in uh, Verite, there is a whole group in Verite which was doing this research on health qualities for years. Bhavana was there, Aurelio, Manoj, 
So first of all, we were drawing, thinking, and, and then finally we discovered that basically in mother's writings also that uh, everything starts with sincerity. Nothing can be done without sincerity. You, know, you can, don't have to start anything to do if you are not sincere. How can you succeed really in a yogic way if you are not sincere? But sincerity is that that you recognize that the divine is. This is sincerity is never enough, Mother says. You cannot say that you are totally sincere. Because you, if you are a little sincere, you know how difficult it is to be sincere. So people who say, I am totally sincere, they have no clue what sincerity is. Sincerity is actually knowing how insincere we are. Because sincerity reaches to the depth of the divine being. That's what she says, to the depth of the divine being. It's always, there is always not enough, what is not enough is sincerity. It's never enough. So that leads us to humility. Humility is the next step that you realize that the divine is. Humility is a natural, immediate, respond from you towards the divine, that the divine is, and not you are in charge of everything here, but that is divine's world. This is a humility, which leads to gratitude. And the gratitude is the unconditional love. Somebody said there's no love. There is love. Gratitude. Gratitude for that the divine is. Just for that. You are grateful that it is. You already recognize it, you know it, you have contact with it, you have a glimpse of it within yourself. And that gratitude, if we persevere in this sincerity, humility and gratitude, if we hold on to this triple beginning, it will lead us to aspiration. And Mother says aspiration is the flame which is kindled by the divine in our heart. It's not our aspiration. It is the divine who is coming and kindling it within us. And then that aspiration will be looking for the divine everywhere and it will discover, it will become receptive. Next is receptivity. Receptive of what is, where is the divine? Where is the truth? So that receptivity will lead us to the vision of progress, of the path, what we have to walk from where to where we have to reach. We see the, the, the panorama of our path, as in the Vedas Rishi says, there are the pillars. The domes are rising like the pillars on the path. You see that from this pillar you have to reach to the next, from the next to the next. As Sri Aurobindo says in Savitri, on the height he stood, that looked upon greater heights. On the height he stood that looked upon greater eyes. This is progress, you see the path. And then what do you need? You need courage to walk the path. Not everybody has courage to, we are dancing on the path. We are now st step forward to backward. <laughs> we are having kind of, you know, or we are sitting on the path, or we are waiting on the path. But to walk the path is a very different thing. It requires courage towards the divine, Mother says. Not towards anything else, towards the divine. Are you ready to really step into that, into that journey? Walk towards the divine? How many times we are scared that something may happen? It's very dangerous. It's shifting, it's changing our life, our perspectives. How many times we are backing up? No? How many times we go back and wait and still think that maybe it will take us on the path? No, we have to make a step forward and walk the path. And these eight qualities, Mother says, are towards the divine only. And there are four more qualities towards the humanity. This is. Um, Gratitude, oh, goodness, sorry, goodness. generosity, goodness, goodness, generosity, equality, and peace. And here equality comes. 
Why, why goodness is first? Goodness is the power of Mahakali still, but it is already with Mahasaraswati. So this goodness, goodwill, Mother said that everybody of goodwill is welcome to all of it. That is goodness. Goodness means that you always find good in everybody's intention. You stick to that. You don't criticize people. You bring the best what they have. You clarify their good intentions and you stick to that. That quality is goodness. It is towards humanity. Then we need generosity. You know, we have to be generous in everything, in knowledge, in feelings, in relations, in, uh, in everything, in resources also. Not only in money, but in every aspect. Generosity. Because it is not ours. This soma, this delight, this amrita which comes to us is not ours. We have to share it. And the more we share, the more it is multiplied. And then it is equality. We have to equally accept everything, good and bad, friend and enemy, in an equal way. Because these are only masks. We don't see really the divine behind that. So equality is the way. By the way, about equality, Mother in her uh, prayers and meditations says a very interesting thing. The voice of the divine speaks to her and says that only one thing you must do for me is to follow the equality. Whatever happens in your life, keep to the equality. Sorry, I don't say equality. Equanimity. Equanimity, equanimity and equality they use as synonyms. Oh, sorry to tell you that. Equanimity is more psychological, whereas equality is more philosophical, if you will. But they are reflecting the same movement of equal relation to everything, without preference, without liking and disliking, without uh, it's for me and that is for you, we are, without seeing the difference in that regard. And that leads, that leads us to peace, to profound, deep peace. And peace is not something to sleep on or with. It is not the tamasic kind of falling into, you know, oblivion. It is full of light and consciousness and bliss. So these are the twelve qualities. One comes from the other. And at the same time, they are all separate. We can tap into each one of them anytime. And there are chambers in a, around Mantri Mandir. You can go if you lack some, some goodness or some generosity or courage. You can go. Perseverance. You don't persevere in what you do. You don't persevere in being sincere, uh, humble, and uh, grateful. Gratitude is the most difficult, Mother says. Yeah, it's, most underestimated quality. The smallest among the gods is gratitude. She describes all the gods great and powerful. And this small, small child there, uh, girl, and that is gratitude. <laughs> so, thank you. и всей команде, потому что мы все являемся инструментами в руках Божественного. Через те или иные контакты происходит появление, появляется, то есть то, что должно появиться. Амрита is very grateful for all of us, because it is a collective field right now, you know? We are all co-created right now in this space. And she said about that we are all our instruments, and for us this work is done, is, is happening. И очень интересную вещь я хочу поделиться со всеми вами. Наталья Майте говорила год назад. I would like to share one thing one year ago. Перед тем, как приехать в Индию. Before I entered, before I came to India. В течение месяца Каждый раз я просыпалась и спала с мыслью, мать, что я должна сделать? То есть двигаться 
Because in the month, Sabrina was asking the mother every evening or every day, what should I do? How, how, how I need to move in educational sphere, because it was your area of specialization at that time. In India, India. Not, not only in Orally. Мне пришло видение, это, обращаясь к проекту 12 качеств. And Amrita also had this vision about 12 qualities. То есть, как мы все связаны на тонком невидимом мире. Год назад вы в команде с... So it is so fascinated how all we are connected in this field of creating process. Not knowing that is happening with Amrita and with me, just we don't know about this fact. И проект, который был назван, это Research and Discovery Yourself с детьми из разных штатов Индии. Я месяц, полтора месяца жила в деревнях, то есть с разными детьми общались, и мы исследовали каждое качество практически, то есть на практике. It was a it was a name. She got the name of the project. It was research and discovery of twelve qualities that you need to do with children. And Abrita visited villages and tried to create some projects how to with children. How can they belong to these twelve qualities? How can they express it? И мы начали опять через первое это искренность, art, music, dance. It was the first was sincerity, and we tried to reveal it through art, dance, music, how children feel sincerity in this particular art. И важный был момент, как они раскрывались в этом. In the very interesting moment, and how they revealed themselves in during this experience. И пять месяцев этот был проект. For five months, this project lasts. Last. И каждый днем была наполненность божественной матери, то есть это чувство, это руководство ею. Это было в каждом мгновении через нас, через искусство, через арт, и дети, взрослые уже не имели значения. То есть мы все были едины. And in the air, all around, the presence of the mother that guided in this process. Were felt, and there is no matter what to do, how to do, in, in which form. The only, the only main thing is was her guidance and, this, and her will. Thank you. Thank you.